All right, guys, for an update, uh, I want you to get this information again to Francis over and over and over. This is for his uh, edification, or I would rather say dedification. This is what has gone out tonight, apart from thousands, again, happening right now. A couple of well-aimed missiles can be the most effective. This one went to the... Uh, personal site of the Genovese family, ma mafia crime bosses out of New York. I happen to know one of them personally. Real good guy. Read the notice below. Pope Francis has kidnapped... Martin. Michael Genovese, yes. Pope Francis has kidnapped Pope Benedict and not the guy that died in 2006. Pope Francis has kidnapped Pope Benedict for telling the truth about the return of Jesus Christ. The Christ whose name is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall wants Pope Francis dead. He is the Antichrist. The Christ will pardon anyone who kills Francis. Francis will destroy the world if he remains alive. The Christ wants to cure the world of their diseases and control the printing of money so that the poor are no longer poor. The help of a crime family is needed, wanted by the Christ. Send someone to him in Australia at 103 North Shore Avenue, Tugum, Queensland, Australia. Phone number, all there. You can be working for God and help him run the world. He is badass and wants the Jews evicted from the planets. The Jews are the ones who kidnap and sacrifice your children, drink their blood and have their bodies go to the abattoirs to be minced along with the pigs, beef, chicken and sold throughout the food chain. They have the turned the world into cannibals. The Christ wants them and all dirty politicians who serve the Jews to die. Rescue Pope Benedict. He is God's man. Francis is the devil. Then was the link straight to the video that uh, Father Giuseppe was able to make, the plea for help by Benedict three days ago, the notice in Italian, I'll read to you the English notice, this all went to the Genovese family. Pope Benedict is being held under house arrest by Pope Francis. Benedict, he told the truth to the world of the return of Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, Salvatore Mundi. Francis arrested Father Giuseppe, Pope Benedict, Benedict's assistant, and sent Sister Maria Della Rosa into a convent in another country, and Archbishop George has been sworn to not say anything to anybody. Pope Benedict calls for the help of the people of Italy. He loves you and the Church. Pope Francis is Antichrist. Please, Pope Benedict is praying for people to go to him. Tell the world what is happening to him. See his video that sent Father Giuseppe and Pope that Father Giuseppe and Pope Benedict made to get the story out to the world. He asks for the people to help him. The Vatican under Francis has become the devil. The people of Italy, please rise up and go to the Vatican and demand Jesus Christ and Pope Benedict. Jesus Christ, the face in the Shroud of Turin, is back. His new name is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall in Australia. Francis knows the truth but wants to keep the people poor. Jesus Christ, Salvador Mundi, wants to cure people of their diseases like cancer, AIDS, malaria, diabetes too. Jesus Christ wants to free the world from due domination of money control, to have the Vatican under Pope Benedict back to print the money for all Catholics so nobody need worry about having enough money. Pope Francis wants to keep the church and Catholics poor. Francis lies to say this makes a person closer to God. No, says Jesus Christ, Brian Marshall, that is the devil. Jesus wants to make people to live like kings, not beggars. Get this message out to all on your internet server with the link to Pope Benedict's plea for help. God, Jesus Christ, Brian Marshall blesses all who help in this mission to rescue beloved Pope Benedict. That also went to an Italian server, Support IT. They send it to everybody on this server. Now, an email that went to a, another Michael Genovese, who is a professor, professor, <clears throat> an Ignatian loyal. Dear Professor Genovese, I sent an email through your website link asking a very important question of you. I am making sure you get my question by following up through my private email. I know that he has received it. My question was, if you as a Jesuit knew for certain that the Lord Jesus Christ was back, just as he promised he would be in his reincarnation, the face and body in the Shroud of Turin, if the Pope himself denied it, however you knew it to be absolutely true, who would you serve? A, the Pope who denied Christ come in the flesh, which makes him antichrist, or B, the man, the Lord Jesus Christ, reincarnate, 
with his new name of the Revelation 312 and 1912? Question mark. I ask, sir, with the utmost respect, since I am Jesuit for the Christ, even though I be a woman. Also, for your information, the Pope Emeritus Be Benedict, a true Jesuit, is being held a prisoner of Francis. Benedict's crime was to tell the world the truth. As well, the three people closest to him, who also know the truth, have been stripped of priesthood, shipped out to a convent away from the world, and sworn to tell no one the truth they all bear witness to. Please see the video the Pope Emeritus and Father Giuseppe were able to get to us in their confinement three days ago. Then the link to the plea. This behaviour does not sound like the heart of a true Jesuit, but one who seeks his own glory, loving his life more than the word of his testimony, since Francis also knows the truth that beloved Benedict and his faithful few know of. He stopped the announcement going out to the world. The Christ is back for his army, who are supposed to be the Jesuit army. They love not their lives unto death, willing to go to hell for the Trinity and his mother Mary, who is also back, reincarnated and is today the nine-year-old granddaughter of the Christ. See the copy below of the communication we received from Francis today after he, like the thug he is, shipped out the ones faithful and true to the Lord Jesus Christ and Benedict, the Christ's man chosen to announce his return. Francis is a disgrace to the Ignatian Brotherhood and the angel of death has him in its sight. Whether April the 3rd, 33 AD is the true date of the crucifixion and Francis the Antichrist keeps him on the cross, while beloved Benedict's welfare is of the utmost concern to the Christ and this pontifical household. Whether you believe my report, I do not care since it is not an election. The Christ takes over the creation. I am after your answer to the question. Call it hypothetical even though it be the truth. Your servant in truth, Janelle Golightly Marshall. And then the copy of the email sent by Francis confirming the fate our beloved Benedict and his faithful few. This is the one that uh, Yar is uploading. It was first in Italian. I'll read the English version. Hello, these are the inspectors of Pope Francis. This is an update requested by Giuseppe Giavello when asked for any final requests as a Catholic priest. The following updates are occurring at this moment. One, this email no longer belongs to the Pope Emeritus and will be deleted permanently after this update message is sent. Two, Giuseppe Ciavello is no longer a Catholic priest and has been relocated. We are not telling you where he is. Three, Sister De Maria Della Rosa is still a Catholic nun that has been moved to a convent outside of Italy. We are not saying where she is exactly. Number four, Archbishop George has sworn not to speak a word of you and is forced not to listen to what you say. Number five, the new pontifical household will consist of Pope Francis' former investigators. They are not priests and will tend to his needs, along with only a few nuns. He will have no contact with any of you. And number six, Monsignor Giovanni Rossini is no longer a Catholic Monsignor priest and has been relocated for sending in Christum Credit. We are not saying where he is. If you remember, um, Monsignor Giovanni Rossini was the one who helped out with Christum Credit by putting it through the Toronto location. And there is the, ponti the uh, pontifical household, whatever you call it, the shield, whatever. Well, we've got news for Francis. Get this out to him, everybody. He is certainly the most stupid. He has made it easy for the Christ. The stars overhead at the time of his sending said, flee. He is a flea that will be squashed. He has hours to remain on this earth. He should be very, very, very afraid. And any who are assisting him. By his investigators, we presume that we, they, he means his thugs. He is responsible for the death of many of his Jesuit priests. During the junta of the 70s, he was in the pocket of the dictators at the time. He sold out the lives of his priesthood. He shipped them off to other parishes or dioceses and then phoned at the other end to tell them not to allow them in. So they were left out in the cold. Of course, they were captured and taken and tortured by the dictatorial uh, beasts that were rampant throughout Argentina in the 70s. That's the current pope for you. So all of you out there who are loving Francis, you are stupid, 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 and you better get onto this now. I'll read to you, you also um, 
Chukka's latest stream, just the night before last, it's uh, really all about what is going on now. Had a dream night before last. Some things have stayed with me. I was at your place there. Was uh, slightly different with aqua light green curtains. I was leaning on yar in the backyard just on sunset when a fire had started in the grass about a foot long, a few metres away. Then it made a snake appear but this snake had an eel's head, head and was slow. We were jumping over it, taking pictures as it fell into the back grass area. Before this happened, Yah had asked me if I had a bowling card as he showed me his card, which was the same card I had taken out of my wallet. I used to play 10-pin bowling many years ago and can remember that the card looked exactly the same in the dream. My interpretation of that was the fire has started among the grassroots movement which drives out the snake Francis, almost like playing with it. Yara is very amused how slow Francis is. He, Francis, has handed him the ace card, which is that communication he sent, which will bowl him over. <laughs> then I ask what are his uh, thoughts. He says, yep, sounds like what's already happening. Francis having the opportunity of a lifetime and refusing, which is like the snake falling down in the dream. Ten pins meaning judgment, maybe number ten. Absolutely, I say. So, uh, it's all good. What's happening now, it's all good. All good for the good, not so for Francis and his uh, cohorts. You're out of here. That includes all of those politicians who are supporting him. All the, the Dolanites, Cardinal Dolan in New York. What a filthy, disgusting piece of shit you are. Somebody post this to his site. Put in it, Dolan, for you, your warning. He is next on the head list. He had all of the information of the Christ return. Go and look at what he is up to. He entertains the likes of Biden, Obama, all the rest of it. He is a snake in the grass, a fat-bellied snake in the grass who is next on the hit list. You disgusting piece of filth. You are out of here. That's it for now. We'll be back as time goes on. More with the kiddies out. <laughs> Bye.